European Union nations are struggling to confront the challenge of the unprecedented numbers of migrants coming across the Mediterranean and have few answers to contain the humanitarian catastrophe highlighted by reports that 400 people drowned this week. Driven chiefly by poverty and conflict, some 10,000 migrants and asylum seekers have sought to sneak into the EU over just the past week and the European nations have no clear response ready. The spring crossing season will inflate those figures over the weeks to come, yet there are no emergency EU meetings planned or proposals ready to be implemented. Meanwhile, the feared drowning of 400 migrants in a shipwreck this week in the Mediterranean Sea one of the deadliest such tragedies in the last decade raised alarms on Wednesday amid an unprecedented wave of migration toward Europe from Africa and the Middle East. The UN Refugee Agency expressed shock at the scale of the deaths in Monday's capsizing and renewed calls on European governments to redouble search and rescue efforts, while the The Mediterranean has emerged as the most dangerous of four major sea routes used by the world's refugees and migrants, taken by 219,000 people last year, UN High Commissioner for Refugees Antonio Guterres said. The Italian Coast Guard rescued some 140 people of the coast of Libya on Monday and recovered nine bodies, but could see immediately from the size of the capsized smugglers boat that there had likely been hundreds more on board. Five-day surge The rescue was made during a five-day surge that saw Italian ships save nearly 10,000 people at sea since Friday an unprecedented rate in such a short period, according to CMDR. Filippo Marini a Coast Guard spokesman. The number is only likely to grow, with summer weather encouraging even more people fleeing poverty and conflict to make the perilous crossing. Survivors of Monday's shipwreck reported that as many as 550 people were on board, according to aid workers. Of course this is an estimate. No one who travels knows exactly the number. They don't get a ticket that says, no 550, said Barbara Molinario, the UN High Commissioner for Refugees spokeswoman in Italy. Accounts by survivors, mostly sub-Saharan Africans, indicate the ship capsized when men on the upper deck rushed to wave down a ship they believed to be a rescue vessel, said IOM spokesman Joel Milman in Geneva. Many were waving and gesticulating to get attention and that caused the vessel to capsize, with the speculation that women and children who were below deck were drowned instantly, Milman said. The rescued migrants arrived Wednesday at the southern Italian port of Carigliano, where aid workers dressed in white protective jumpsuits, gloves, and masks worked to process them. A precise accounting of the number of dead will never be known, the search operation was called off after the recovery of just nine bodies due to the depth of the sea, meaning there will be no body count to verify survivors' accounts, as is nearly always the case. For all of these things, we rely on the consistency of the reports we get, but we know these people have been traumatized and through terrible things, Milman said. The UNRWA estimates 3,500 migrants died in the Mediterranean last year, up from 600 in 2013. With few bodies recovered, many deaths are never officially confirmed. Instead, their fates are recounted by survivors and, in cases when boats are lost at sea without any rescue attempt, by relatives who report their failure to arrive in Europe. So far this year, the number of dead or missing at sea is 900, according to the UNCRA, compared with just 17 over the same time last year. Typically, the arrival of migrants making the perilous journey goes up in April as the weather improves, increasing concerns about the coming months. Overall, since 2000, the IOM estimates that over 22,000 migrants have lost their lives trying to reach Europe, although there are no precise figures. The UN Refugee Agency is compiling a list of all such incidents since 2011, but Molinario declined to disclose figures because they are just estimates. She cited a boat with 250 people that departed North Africa in June 2013, according to relative reports, and never arrived in Italy and the appearance on Libyan shores last August of 15 bodies that led to a search effort that recovered a total of 60 bodies that otherwise would have gone uncounted. We take it very seriously if various families call in with the same information, my relatives were on the boat with 300 people. 
when we get 10 or 15 calls with the same data, there is no reason we shouldn't believe a boat departed on that day, Molinario said. Far less common are shipwrecks near shore, like the one near Lampedusa on October 3, 2013, when divers recovered more than 360 bodies. About a week later another boat sank off Malta, with about 200 dead, most never recovered. Lampedusa caught the world's attention because it was the first time it was possible to recover that many bodies, and the reason for that is it happened a few miles from the coast and the water was shallow enough for a recovery operation to occur, Molinario said. The twin tragedies focused world outrage and prompted Italy to create a search and rescue operation to patrol the high seas, dubbed Mare Nostrum, or RC. It was scrapped late last year under political pressure in the cash-strapped nation, which was spending $10 million, 9.5 million euros, a month on the program. In its place, Europe has responded with border patrols that often take far longer to reach distressed vessels on the high seas. Monday's tragedy only demonstrates how important it is to have a robust rescue at sea mechanism in the central Mediterranean, said Guters, the UN refugee commissioner. Unfortunately Mare Nostrum was never replaced by an equivalent capacity to rescue people. Guters also called for legal avenues for refugees needing protection to travel to Europe, including emergency visas. Marini, the Italian Coast Guard spokesman, declined to speculate on what lies ahead for the summer given the improved weather conditions and increased departures of migrants. We are observing the situation, and we have seen significant numbers of rescues in just five or six days, he said.